Oh. Is it on? Oh, okay. All right, come on, Virgo. So we can go and get you on the battery so we can scoot and poop and go ahead and get to where the fuck we need to go. Virgo, we got somebody that is nosy as hell that is on somebody else's business. Ooh, somebody is nosy as hell and all of somebody else's business with this illuminator. We also got the sage. A hard head gonna make a soft ass for a particular person though as well because somebody keeps doing or asking the same thing over and over and over and over and over again, but they just don't get it. Some of y'all may got somebody like to argue with you. Ugh. Like, somebody may get turned on by that. Ooh. Whatever works for you is what works for you, right? Pay me. That's the masochist job, right? This is BDSM. This is what the girls do. Run me my money. But uh, for some of y'all, you could be dealing with somebody that likes to argue with you or they think that's attractive or something like that, though, as well. Or for some of y'all, this is somebody that's going to put their ass in a situation. It's a power play dynamic that's going on between you and someone else. And whoever this is, this is like making because there's some information or knowledge or something that this person has that it is that you need and they don't want to give it to you though as well so i don't know if you're showing your ass or something like that though so this might be a person that you may have to walk away from and just basically say fuck them and go find it somewhere else that's basically what i'm getting like somehow you basically have to tell this person fuck you again so once you say that you're gonna find whatever it is you need on your path that was well because you could be dealing with somebody that like to play a lot of head games or control so somebody basically gonna have to tell somebody fuck you and go find it elsewhere because whoever this is they doing it on purpose with purpose they doing it on purpose with purpose you got to say fuck them look because we got the heritage we also got the arbitrary we also got the trickster we also got the siren the healer and we also got the poet for some of y'all this is a person that like to see how far will people go when it comes down to a situation to get the things that it is that they need for some of y'all could have got tricked out of your position though as well this could have been a maiden's call or you could have been dealing with like some succubus or suck you by energy or some of y'all could have got called to that or been a part of their state of life now getting back on subject i already text you Whoever this is, this may have been some way that you could have been tricked out of your position when it comes down to something. Some of y'all could have failed in like siren energy. So this could be like a temptress or a seductor or seductee. Some of y'all was dealing with a person who is like this that was trying to come on to you or you were trying to come on to them. Or somebody was trying to play a whole bunch of games to get something from you. Like I'm confused. Like whoever this is, like um, like some of y'all was dealing with somebody that was trying to do a whole lot of shit that was trying to trick you out your position of trying to come on to you for some of y'all this could be like somebody was trying to trick you out some pussy i'm just gonna be honest so this could have been somebody that was trying to pay the fuck if they weren't trying to pay the fuck this could have been a person that was trying to see how far would you go for something or wanted something and that's why spirit telling you to say fuck does it make sense though as well so you can be able to just move on sorry y'all i just had to spray my leg out so if you see this camera go from angle to angle just pray about it because i ain't stopping moving yeah that's what i said the strategist we also got the strategist and we also got the uh, falcon. That's what I said. You was dealing with somebody who liked to play a whole lot of games. For some of y'all, this is information that was with some of y'all. So whoever this is that you was dealing with like to play a whole lot of games, they played themselves right on at your life. So this person may not know that because whoever this is, they're trying to, y'all may be dealing with a person trying to squeeze their way back in. I don't know why I get that off that moon cat though as well. So this is somebody that's like, all right, okay, cool. Again, for some of y'all, this could be somebody that's like, oh, uh, and I would be mindful too, because this could be somebody like they got a point to prove. So if you're somebody where you're very crafty or you got very Jupiter energy and you know how to get your ass out of situations though as well, or something like say for instance, like uh, you go through hard times, you know how to create. Um like seven, you lost a job, you bounce back up, you get back on your feet. There's a person that is purposely, strategically trying to put blocks in and say, well, get yourself out of it. It's like a skeptic and a critic at the same time. It's like, but bitch, if you doing all this, you a hater. Like, does that make sense? You a hater. Like, what? Like, we also got Falcon. We got Duende. We also got the Strategist coming back out. And then we also got the Illuminator. That's why I said this person was giving you a hard time on purpose, with purpose. You were dealing with a douche. Some of y'all was dealing with a fucking douche, man. <laughs> what is up with these readings today? <laughs> some of y'all was dealing with a fucking douche. I'm just going to be honest. Like, some of y'all may have developed a block heart chakra or something like that, though, as well, connected towards this person because somebody was testing your patience. 
So you may have become apathetic towards this person. Like, does that make sense? If it's a relationship, some of y'all, you're probably not turned on or you don't care about this person plight. Like, this could be a person. I'm not saying this, though, as well, because some of y'all could be doing somebody that's drop dead gorgeous. Or it's like, whatever with this person, like, if they was to drop, you wouldn't give a fuck. Like, I'm going to say that in so many words. Like, some of y'all just don't care. Like, it's this person to where it's kind of like... I just keep getting that though. Like some of y'all, it's that energy of fuck it. I'm gonna go find my own way when it comes down to a situation because some of y'all dealing with somebody where somebody is purposely making something hard for somebody to achieve something and they keep lying because whoever this is, it could be jealousy. I'm just gonna be honest. Some of y'all, it's a little jealousy. It is. It's a little jealousy attached to it. It was not jealousy. This somebody, this, they ego so big, they so cocky, they're so fucking arrogant. It's a power play dynamic or something going on. It's kind of like, baby. Bye bye. Nobody got time for this. I'm telling you, like, ain't nobody got time for this. So let's go. Damn it. I guess we're supposed to raw dog it. Ugh. I'm like, does it make sense? Um. Straight to the point. <laughs> yeah, that was so you did about somebody that's terrible, sweetie. They terrible. Look, seven of pentacles, the black gnomon, and also the seven of, seven of cups. This somebody got their hands in a tricky situation though as well. This somebody that could be lying about uh some of y'all I just keep getting this. Like some of y'all getting tricked out your position. This like one of them bad ass kids where somebody like, oh, well, you want to do this, and it's kind of like really dangerous, and it's kind of like I don't I don't I don't think we should do this. Like this that person, like somebody gets off on shit like that though as well. Somebody's very sinister in their approach. When somebody does that, like they like to hide their critique or whatever the fuck it is though as well. Like certain things that they say, uh they could be negative or something like that though. So you could be doing something like this negative or snickety or something like that though as well when it comes down to their approach or something. And it's kind of like they like to hide behind it though as well. So they come off like they um um Venusian energy. Like it's very Venusian. Ah, like um but it's cerebral, like loving, but it's not loving. Whatever the fuck it is with this person. That's why I said it's fake. It's fake. Does it make sense? That was weird. It's fake. That's all a joke. It's fake. Got you. Like, does it make sense? Seven of swords. I'm a part of verse. It's fake. It's fake. You're going to lie. It just keep getting it, though. It's like, I should say, you're going to lie about it. Some of y'all, you is, because again, how you got caught up into something that was what it's somebody like to put people in tricky situations. And I'm telling you, this somebody gonna say, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do that. I didn't mean to do that. But again, you only responsible for your own consequence. You only responsible for your own actions and stuff like that, though, as well. Because if you did do it, you went along with something, that's your responsibility. But if you're dealing with somebody who, the moral of the story is you're dealing with somebody that's like, I think we should do X, Y, and Z, and they're very sneaky. And whoever this is, when it comes down to their sneaky approach, is to get you caught up in the sea. Like, yeah, it's like on some spiteful, hateful, vindictive ass shit. And it may be somebody that's trying to get in a relationship with you. And it may be somebody that say that they're your friend. Like some of y'all may be in this energy of where you say no new friends. Like, does that like some of y'all, some of y'all don't want no new friends? Like, does it make sense? Some of y'all don't want to kick it with nobody, hang with nobody right now, because y'all focus on your money. That's why I say you envious. Like some of y'all, like here, like some of y'all could be dealing with certain people who are not a compromise. Communication could be a big thing for you though as well. Some of y'all you may got certain people where you don't want to talk to them that right now because you could be too busy. Or for some of y'all, the people that always want to talk to you, they always want something. Like their hands always out, like they always ask for something, they always need something. Does it make sense? Some of them, they don't like to hear the truth. So it's like they hear it just a little too late. Then they want to come back and they want to, oh, now it's like, then I say it already. I'm good. Like, does it make sense? So some of y'all may be passing up on opportunities, but for some of y'all, communication is a big thing for you. And also, if it's not communication, you're dealing with certain people who do not know how to compromise. They say one thing, and then when it comes down to their actions, because some of y'all, you have been fed up with this bullshit to the point where it's like i'm good like some of y'all is like extremely good on this behavior because again there's nothing i keep getting that though as well like some of y'all may be dealing with somebody to where they abuse they say the friendships and connections that is they have with people somebody doesn't know what's on the table somebody doesn't know what's off the table so you're dealing with somebody where it's kind of like nah i'm out of here 
I'm out of here. Because again, whoever this is, it could be giving you a hard time. I'm telling you, this person likes you and they learn about it. Look, we also got the fool card too. So again, this person may, and I keep getting this though, if you're dealing with friends or people, like somebody purposely may try to leave you out of something or leave someone out of something because of their behavior. Like, does it make sense? They don't want you to feel like you're accepted or you're a part of something. So that's something that somebody's trying to do. Like they purposely doing this. And I keep getting this, this fucked hard that likes you. If somebody wants you to accept your fate or accept this when it comes down to a situation, but it's not like whoever this is that was led. So it's kind of like if you go off in the energy and you rehabilitate, you go get something on your own. This it's like it's a dick. Like whoever says they're a dick, they're a douche, they're a bitch. Like doesn't make sense. Whoever this is, Gretchen is a bitch. Whoever this is, they like really a bitch. With this king of wands, because it's somebody that feels like I can do whatever I want. I don't care about nobody else. I'm going to do whatever it is I want to do. Like, does it make sense? Like, bye, bitch. We got three of swords. We got the knight of cups. We also got the hangman. That's why I said you and this person, y'all can't compromise. Y'all get on the same page. When it comes down to a tug of war, tug and pull, like some of y'all getting tired of being in this relationship where I stab you in the back, bitch, you stab me in the back. Like, some of y'all sick of this shit. It's kind of like, it's like survivalism. Like some of y'all tired of making friendships and connections with people. I stab you in the back. You stab me in the back. Like some of y'all over that shit because some of y'all either want love or y'all want genuine love or genuine support and genuine friendships. For some of y'all, when it comes down to your relationship, if there's a friend or a person in your life that was willing to expect you to be the sacrificial lamb. So it's kind of like you just got everything going on. Uh, just stop. Hold this moment for me. I'm going through a bad time. It's kind of like... Like, does it make sense? So some of y'all tired of giving up something for somebody else though as well when it comes to your happiness. Some of y'all tired of sacrificing everything that makes you happy for somebody else. Like, it's like this type of energy. It's like, I'm tired. Look, we got six of wands, the emperor in reverse, the world card in reverse, the nine of sign of swords in reverse, and the will of fortune. This could be somebody that's very controlling or abusive. Whoever this is, when you allow them into your life though as well, it's kind of like they take, they like they take control. You got to control spirit it's kind of like god damn like can you back off like you may be called to if you do get back into a relationship with a masculine or a feminine or whoever this is in a masculine energy you're going to recognize what it is that you need to relinquish when it comes down to this person and it may be that person libra just had that i just said the zodiac sign was gonna come out like libra just had that's where it came down to a point that was well to where um somebody doing protection work and they got to cut somebody off and they know leave it on protection work and they wonder why them and somebody keep breaking up it's because spirit don't want them to be with that person y'all on the other hand you in a relationship with a person that does not care that's overly controlled and me 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 syndrome when it comes down to a situation that was well and now it's kind of like why the fuck do i have to give up certain shit for you like you're basically a fucking bully like some of y'all dealing with a bully though as well with this three of swords this could be somebody that's constantly trying to get you caught up or entrapped in a certain situation because this could be entrapment i'm telling you this every time somebody life go bad this like one of them types of friends or people they finna pull your life down to hell with them i don't know what type of friend you got bitch but they pulling you down like every time they going through some these are my emotions this is this and baby y'all be over there miserable we got the Empress card, the Justice card in reverse, the Six of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, and also the Judgment. This is where one of y'all is to where they're going to be like, they love me, they don't want to deal with me, because they keep doing this. Like, this is a person that continues to keep doing this. Like, somebody keeps repeating a cycle. Somebody doesn't know how to let go of the bad times. Those ways, kind of like you and this person, y'all got this catty-like behavior between y'all, or there's this catty-like influence in the air that when it comes down to something, to where if you ask them, they can't do it. They get mad that you go somewhere else, and you get it done effectively by somebody else. Else. So it's kind of like, if you're not going to show me, I can get it done somewhere else. If you're going to treat me shitty, I don't have to deal with it. Does it make sense? It's like a lesson that you could be learning to actually stand your ground or just to move forward as well. Again, for some of y'all, you could be at a point to where you could have been passive about a lot of things, though. Like passive, like some of y'all could have been passive about a lot of things, or you could have let a lot of things fly, so you ain't said nothing. So you dealt with biasness. You dealt with people who... Um, and it's just this one particular person. Because with the Emperor and the Six of Wands, Six of Wands, let's talk about the wrong crowd mob mentality. The Emperor is the person who controls this. So this is their group, their clique, their this. Does it make sense though as well? So for some of y'all, <laughs> confirmation, it's kind of like this, their clique, their group, and the stuff like some of y'all, it's like you could just be tired of dealing with the social injustices or biasness when it comes down to certain people though as well. where it's kind of like, again, and, and being in the state of passive, you may have to turn back around. So, so what did you mean by when you said that like some of y'all gonna have to like and some before you decide to move forward though was well because it's kind of like you're going forward in the same situation again with another person with the judgment card being reversed like you're doing it again 
this fell out in reverse, but it fell out upright. You did it both ways. You need to hear that. You're doing it again. Some of y'all got somebody that's consumed with greed and selfish. They don't care. So this is somebody that's only me, 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 me. And somebody needs to let this go. This is not giving. Somebody is vain as hell. Vain is good, though. But when it's vain, comes from their friendship. This causes a lot of problems. The king of cups in reverse vote as well. This is somebody that's always trying to manipulate you into doing something for them. And some of y'all don't like this. Because, again, it doesn't come with nothing. So somebody may feel like you're all about money. You're all about this stuff as well. But if the jobs that it is that you have or they require where you offer a service, how are you about money? I'm just saying. I'm just saying, because one of y'all dealing with somebody who is like that, though, like some of y'all got a position, like I'm saying, some of y'all got a position that you hold that requires you to where you can charge a fee or you do something with teaching or workshops or whatever the fuck it is, though, as well. Somebody feels like you're all about money, but this person feels like, what? Tell Tristan not to know. Tristan! It's kind Ah, Tristan, what? You said lock it up. Ah, oh. we got uh the hermit card. I mean, not the hermit card. We got the hair form. We got the white normal. We also got six of pentacles. So some of y'all, you are you get paid to do something. That's all I know. Like, some of y'all, look, we got Six of Pentacles, the Hermit, and I mean, not the Hermit. Girl, it could be another bargain over here, right? Or uh, is this to be like wisdom or wise or teaching? Some of y'all get paid for this. This could be knowledge, information, and somebody saying you're all about money, but somebody feels like they don't have to pay you for something. Somebody's a user. That's why I say you do with somebody that's a fucking user. Like, literally, they're a fucking user. Look. They're using. Look, four pentacles. They greedy. I said that this is a person that like everything to themselves. I knew it. That's what I was like. Some of y'all do with somebody that's a fucking lo a loser and a user. Like, that's it. Look, it's becoming clear and clear. Like, some of y'all are starting to become more selfish with your time, who you share with, what you give with. Like, this is the equivalent of, like, damn, I wish you wanted to shower because I tell her, walk across the room. Where it say, don't share your recipes with everybody. Don't share your recipes with everybody. Some of y'all, you may, and you could be at this time because you know how somebody may feel like you gatekeeping because like somebody could have gave you something, like certainly somebody could have helped you or they could have gave you something that was valuable to you and you keeping it close to you. And somebody want to know, they said, no, it's first, tell me, tell me, tell me. And you like, no, because some of y'all, it's this person. I'm telling you, it's like whoever this is, like once they get a hold of something, they ruin shit. Like, I don't know, like whoever this is, they ruin shit or they fuck it up for everybody. Whoever the hell you dealing with, they fuck a lot of shit up for everybody so some of y'all like mm -mm. like does it make sense we got eight of pentacles somebody wants you to share what you got from somebody else and you like no because whoever this is they fucking it up for everybody and this may got something to do with your job or work this could be even like it's giving me i keep getting it's like little kids like when you were younger you were dealing with peer pressure but this is an adult and it's like somebody keeps saying it's like this sick friend that's a bully they keep trying to put people in a fucked up situation and saying that it's not a fucked up situation if it's a child or something like that, though, as well, it was like your favorite toy or whatever the fuck it is, or growing up with a siblings of five or more, or three or more in a home or something like that, though, as well, it's yours, and somebody always wants something of yours, but you know specifically they going to break it, like whoever this is, because we got eight of pentacles going back to this, that ten of wands and the king of pentacles is something that you work for, it's something that's valuable to you, it's some state of importance, that's why I said it's something that it's important for some of y'all you're creating something and some of y'all can't share everything with somebody right now that's why you can't work with whoever this is because you may be working with someone or something or working on something to where this person talked too damn much that's what it is look we got the strength the king of swords and the death card you're dealing with a mood killer a dream killer a blessing killer some of y'all working on shit or you required to work on shit by yourself or do certain shit at this or somebody is going to kill that shit. Does it make sense? You can't work with this person because this person talk too damn much. That's the person. So it's kind of like if you're trying to... Because some of y'all, let's say for you could create something. Let's just say um, you're working on a PR campaign. And uh, 
I don't know. Like this could be digitizing marketing. It could just be an ad or something. I don't know. Whoever this is, they talk too much. I just keep getting it though. And they kill off the dreams. They kill off shit. So it's kind of like whether, like say for instance, like uh, some of y'all could be, I'm just going to be honest. Some of y'all could be tired of this. Like say for instance, like you work with somebody, you under them. It's like this protege, whatever fuck this is dynamic. You doing this and in the midst of this though as well, y'all two together, y'all in cahoots, y'all establishing something. And it's like you the assistant manager and it's kind of like whenever this person goes through something you the one that always got to pick them up and some of y'all could be tired of that to where you ready to tell this person off about themselves so you trying to make the effective decision that it is that you need to do so you can have the change that it is that you need yes yeah, so it's kind of like you're like it's like i'm gonna go where the love is and if i can't go where the love is i'm gonna create this environment but I don't need this bullshit here. Like, this is you. So that's why I said it's kind of like there's changes that have to happen or someone that's around. It's like it's changes as you or someone that's around you, though, as well, because this particular person is problematic. I'm telling you, like, y'all dealing with somebody that's problematic. It's a fuck. And I just keep getting some of y'all. It's like working on something. Some of y'all working on something. I'm telling you, you can't tell somebody because this somebody that knows no boundaries. Some of y'all dealing with somebody that's a, a fraud or a cheapskate. And the reason why I say this, though, is because well, they like to cut corners with the seven of wands. So if you, the reason why you tell them this is because they're so money hungry. They'll be the middleman and it's quality over quantity. Like, does it make sense? So somebody hasn't learned that yet. Somebody hasn't learned quality over quantity. And even if they got money, somebody has not learned that. Somebody has not learned their lesson. Look, we got Seven of Swords, the Devil card. We also got the Sun card. We also got Queen of Wands and the Lovers. Maybe they have not learned that. Somebody doesn't know what's on the table, what's off the table. I'm telling you, like, this is somebody that's very immature. And some of y'all, this is somebody that's just obsessed with getting you caught up in a state of a situation. Some of y'all, people don't see this about this person, though, as well. Uh, how manipulative they is, how they like to lie, the persecution, the wrong, stuff like that, though, as well. This could be like the black sheep of the family or something like that, though, as well. Like, some of y'all deal with somebody they don't like to be responsible for their shit and it's kind of like this is you you always gotta take the shit and so this could be like the charge partner type shit to where like in the, the hood lifestyle to where you get locked up for somebody or something like that though as well or somebody always the slack get thrown on them like somebody's gonna have to learn that bitch i ain't saying this every man say it himself but whoever this is they doing this repetitively to the point where it's like how oh, fuck you like i'm telling you some of y'all you gonna have to tell somebody how oh, fuck you goodbye and good night look Cause that's the only way you're gonna be able to make any moves. Cause whoever this is that you fucking on, who you with, they block your options. They block your options. I'm telling you, they block your options. Two of swords. Some of y'all don't see clearly. You ain't able to move forward, stagnant, having some lack of progress and stuff like that. Though as well, it's kind of like some of y'all waiting on spirit with the three. Of, I mean, with the two of swords, like you waiting on spirit to make a decision for you. Though as well, for some of y'all, the minute you throw something up in the air. Like, I would also pay attention to time management because some of y'all know how to multitask and you know how to do certain things. This is somebody that may try to throw a monkey wrench in the game. I don't like them. I don't like whoever this is. I'm sorry. We got the Ten of Swords. We got Page of Swords and a Page of Pentacles. I said that. This is somebody trying to throw a, a monkey wrench in the game. You're dealing with a pocket watcher, baby. This is somebody that sit back and watch everything you do and they see how you get that money. <laughs> For real, somebody see how somebody get that money. Here we go. Some of y'all dealing with a pocket watch in the group chat. Somebody watching somebody else's shit, trying to steal somebody else's shit. It don't have to be, but somebody just, you know how to do certain things. And somebody trying to throw a monkey wrench, it's like a juggling act going on. And some of y'all don't see that whoever this is, like they're not for you. Like somebody's not for them. They not. God damn. Oh, good time. Can you give me that uh, tarot deck across the room? The index. Give me the index card. We came right on time. He's an old time guy. Let's see. Oh, let's see. Good time. Let's see. Let's see. Just because you got some jeans, I might cut my jeans up today. Good, he'll be there right on time. Said he's an on time God. The index cards. Yes, he is. She came right on time. 
these nuts? Hell no, nah, that ain't gonna be me. Let me tell you what it's gonna say. These nuts. <laughs> Give me the girl, hand me the thing. All right, don't cover the camera. Thank you very much. I might cut my sugar stuff today. Oh, okay, well, you going to have to wait. So I have to plug up your phone. You want me to put it on uh, Avot so you can sit down? Avot. My man, y'all. Um, so whoever this is, though, is where it's kind of like, it's like the monkey wrench. You like just like that. Just like that, how I walked in. It's this person. That's why I said whoever this is. It's just like that. It played out. It's that person. They know that you know how to do a lot of things and multitask. This is a person like to do something to throw somebody off because whoever this is, though, is where it's like they're trying to put a time delay into something, though. But again, you don't know that this person is a spy like, or a person that's a copycat or something like that, though, as well. That's what they're trying to do. Like, this could be whoever this is. Like, say, for instance, we got something to do with like editing or cuts or something like that, though. Somebody's trying to make sure that they call some state of confusion just so they can take whatever snippet or distract somebody and take so i'll be mindful of certain conversations that somebody's trying to bring up that's how they get their information oh i see you got a remote today so that's how somebody's trying to get their information six of cups that's what they did in the past and that's not working for them no more i told you it was a juggling situation the past repeats itself and it's not working <laughs> The past repeats itself, and this has somebody facing some time. Five of swords, seven of swords, three of cups, and eight of swords. Some of y'all, this is somebody going to do to get somebody set up to go to jail or a crime. I just keep getting that though. Somebody, somebody will get you set up. Page of Wands, Hermit Card, Eight of Cups. Some of y'all, like, I'm just going to be honest. For some of y'all, if you've been doing this, this is how somebody knows what you do, and they're going to get you set up. Cut it down, baby. Cut it down. Cut it down. Cut it down. Whoever this is, like somebody's gonna um like whoever that is, if they know you calling me. Why you just want to send a text message? Whoever this is, they know stop. Whoever this is, when it comes down to a situation that was well with this page of ones, if they've been doing this, this is how somebody gonna end up in jail or in prison. Somebody been creating fraud, they've been doing these particular things. This is how they this is how somebody gonna end up getting caught. No, it's kind of like uh, this is how somebody going to end up getting caught. This is how they going to end up going to jail. Put it on the charge. Oh, it's kind of like whoever this is. If they've been doing this, this is how they going to end up going to jail for something that it is at this point in time because they did this before. It's like a repeat lesson. And for some of y'all, you got somebody that's trying to plan something to set you up. So it's like, ding, dong, the witch is dead. So you got somebody where it's like they knocking down people one by one so they can have a spot. So they can be like effective, the leader, important, like... Like, this is what this person trying to do. Because somebody feel like they can do somebody's job better than them. But whoever this is, all they do is bitch and gripe, complain, and they're negative. Like, does it make sense? Like, eh, we got nine of ones, the page of cups, the two of cups, the queen of cups. We got the five of ones, ace of pentacles. That's why I said, and they ain't going to get it. They're not going to get it. Like, I'm saying, whoever this is, they're negative. Like, some of y'all do some of this negative. Like, they just, I don't know. Like, it's something about they, they aura about how they come out. Like, whoever this is, they aura. Like, it's like, I don't know. Somebody's negative. Because whoever this is, like, um, the reason why I say they're negative because. What? Uh. <laughs> it's like, um. The reason why I say that this person is negative because it's the way that they approach certain things. Don't walk across my camera no more. I'm tired of having a fucking disgrace. I'm about to pop the shit out of you. So what do you need? Can you have the wrong one first? Mm -hmm. It was on the bed. Shit, that was all up there last night. Well, you went. Uh, spirit takes a fucking tumble, knocking all my shit the fuck over last night. Do you see it? It's on the floor or something. 
But whoever this is, it's like ding dong, the witch is dead, somebody trying to do something to knock your ass out the way so they can feel like they effective. I tell you, like it's like a competition. Somebody feels like they're better than somebody, but whoever this is, they are negative. I just keep getting it though. Like this person is negative and condescending. Like I just keep getting it though. Some of y'all deal with somebody that is negative and condescending condescending and they're passive aggressive as hell. Like some of y'all deal with somebody who is like that, like a motherfucker. <laughs> Get that shit the fuck back. Go. On. Whoever this is, it's kind of like, um, whoever this is, when it comes to a situation like they're negative, I just keep getting though. This person is negative, passive aggressive, and they're condescending. So it's kind of like they're trying to do shit to bump people out the way so they can seem like they're important or something like that, though, as well. And it's like, whatever. I just keep getting that's the person that's saying, ding dong, the witch is dead, that's plotting around on everybody. <laughs> That's plotting on everybody and stuff like that though as well. So they can get what the fuck they want. I read on uh, uh, never mind. It's too nice. Uh it's kinda like that's them, like that's like that. And some of y'all not catching on to that though as well. But that's what you may be learning at the same time. This person, that's the games that they play, or that's who they are. Like I just keep getting it though. Or this could be a game that somebody's doing, or some of y'all could be a part of a game, or some type of competition, or whatever fuck this is, or somebody's making something chaotic to the point where there is a competition for no fucking reason. But whoever it is that think that they're deserving of it, they're negative. Like, I just keep getting it though. Like this person, they're negative negative it could be an aries maybe a capricorn <laughs> i'm trying to get them all out then we're gonna go it could be an aries it could be a capricorn we said it's a cancer they saying it's a uh, another virgo um a cancer a virgo um a gemini so somebody got gemini like type traits I'm trying to cover her up <laughs> so this person got uh gemini type traits um so they, yeah, they also this person's a Gemini or they got like Gemini type traits. All right, so I'm just going with it. Does it make sense? Hopefully this read makes sense to one of y'all though as well because it ain't been making sense to me. Now them other ones, we was on fire. Like, does it make sense? Scorpio got a little shaky halfway through. But, damn, like this shit is like, what? Like, only you will know because it's your drama and it's not mine. Like, does it make sense? It's your drama and it's not fucking mine. Does it make sense? All right. Ooh. Somebody needs to learn how to exercise their right when it comes down to a state of a situation or somebody has to get back active or to move some state of energy or something that's going on that was well. Somebody just got something to do with writing a book or something somebody could be writing a book or something like that though as well or somebody could be writing uh, about somebody else's life. Somebody's trying to write about somebody else's life at this same time, though, as well. Some like the person. This could be that person. Like some of y'all dealing with a writer or somebody else who is well, or this could be a group of writers or whatever this is that could be in conflict. This person's trying to put a whole lot of problems into somebody else's life, though, as well, so they can write about this and use this like as a world known art or, or put this in a movie or something like that, though, as well. This somebody that's trying to make it seem like you asking for too much in the state of a situation when you're really not. Like some of y'all, you're trying to go to school or somebody needs to go back to school somebody exhausts a lot of sacred energy to be able to get certain things so they're using sexual magic all those different types of things though as well or you could be fucking on somebody that's doing this shit though as well or you may end up having sex with somebody you may start recognize that your libido is all for you can't get it up or you feel sexually drained or you feel like some energetic discord to where you're just not able to move forward it's this person yes like does it make sense it's this person because all they do is play with magic and keep you spiritually conflicted Yes, this is necromancy, false gods, and ancestor rejection. So somebody's not understanding it. Somebody feels like certain things is unfair. Uh, so we got Libra, double confirmation on Aries coming out. We got Libra, double confirmation on Aries, and we also have Capricorn. So somebody feels like something is unfair when it comes down to something that was well. This somebody feels like I should, this should have never happened to me, but whoever this is they'll never see nothing through so this is the type of person that like if they need to go get justice they gonna this is unfair and da, 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 all the different type of stuff it's like well you won't you can stay like that but i'm gonna go i'm gonna go figure out what the fuck going on does it make sense it's kind of like it's two different people you got somebody who likes to give up somebody may have lost a father or something like that though was so somebody's father could have passed my condolences 
uh, for real, somebody could also be losing a position, a position of power or something like that, though, as well. Yeah, this could have been somebody that was in your life. That's why I said you could have. Just somebody that was in your life that just like to come in and play with your head and fuck with you and shit like that, though, as well. Play on your insecurities and feel like can't nobody love you better than them. <laughs> Uh, and you may be ready to say, you know what? I'm ready to cut you off because I'm tired of you. Some of y'all having sex with a married man. Uh, I knew it was another Virgo on the blue chat. Virgo on Virgo. No. Some of y'all dealing with a Virgo or you need to check your Virgo, Virgo placements. Like that could be you or somebody else. Somebody needs to learn how to watch tarot unbiasedly. Somebody doesn't have all the information that it is that they need before they go out trying to jump to the conclusion. So you may be dealing with somebody that watch tarot and they jump to the conclusion. Ah, 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 ah. It's kind of like, nigga, if you just gonna watch it, watch the shit. Shut up. Like let the story unfold. Tarot is an unfolding story. Be intentional about the readings that it is that you choose to watch. Does that make sense though as well? We also got a Pisces in too though as well so whatever's going on at this same time you may get some state of clarity about a state of a situation for some of y'all this could be getting clean breaking free from addictions and stuff like that though as well and this could be somebody that's coming out of the creative block energy that's why i said you could be learning that who or what what was the problem what's causing a psychic illusion what kept a veil on you from being happy in a state of a situation or what was limiting or self-limiting to you some of y'all this is coming out and breaking out of a box though as well a box that's saying that happiness is a right that you get to exercise but you still got the dark witch that's still there oh my god um yep yeah. somebody is pregnant too so this dark witch may be pregnant you also got a taurus too so somebody's trying to do something for us, some money uh this got something to do with a content creator or something like that though as well told you we got the black sheep of the family coming up i knew that's what it was somebody trying to play on the black sheep Pay attention. Some of y'all don't know who you are. So some of y'all may not think that you're the black sheep of the family. Or somebody think that they, like, again, what reading was that when I said somebody think the black sheep of the family is always the one that end up on drugs or, or end up fucked up and the black sheep of the family really just be the one that they don't want to go for everybody fuck shit. So life end up being hard because they decide to go on a different path. Find it. I don't know. It's, I don't know. We ain't been on live like that, though, because, girl, they been annoying. Whoever this is, they always wrong. So that's why you that's why spirit could be possibly telling you to go in a different direction because you possibly been wrong a lot of times. Whoever this is been following around with this crowd, that the one time that you don't break away from them, this is where your right gonna have to be to fuck away from them to where people gonna have to see it though as well. So yeah, you can have some state of clarity between you and someone else and y'all can have a conversation, y'all can chop it up. But once you go make the decision that's best fitted for you, that's when people gonna start to catch on. Could be an Aries that could be finally catching on, or you could be dealing with an Aries who just do not know how to utilize their energy well or their time, and they always ended up into something toxic because they do got the devil card. That's Capricorn. This is like, is this somebody who you frequently having sex with? Is sex really important? Or this is somebody where it's say, do you want to relapse? I did write that on the card. Think before you open up your relationship. relationship. So it's kind of, do you want to go back down this path with this person, whoever this is? Literally, like, does not make sense? Because you already know how the situation going to plan out you already know the visual you know how the shit going to end up do you want to go backwards before you go forward it said watch the advice you give and you also receive so again that's why i said do you want to go backwards you done been here before somebody may stay in tennessee or somebody may be from memphis that's why i said if you're gonna make up to break up at least eat this time so again if you your life and they swinging their ass around learning their tactics and their mo so you won't be falling for their bullshit again does it make sense and don't go off trying to renew a lease and you know that you renewed the lease because this nigga or this woman said y'all was gonna be together and they was gonna pay their half on the rent don't do that go find you something for you so you won't get caught up in no shit though as well tarot does not have all the answers again i just keep getting this though some of y'all y'all gotta go back into this energy for you king of cups some of y'all doing somebody that likes somebody or love somebody. Ugh. Like, does that make sense? This is a person that thinks that they gonna love you or somebody come back trying to love bomb you or go in a relationship with you. I got all this passion. I got all this love to give. All this love is waiting for you, my baby. Look, we got return the sender. My baby. We got return to sender things and go to plan. Yeah, some of y'all just that person. <laughs> Somebody thought they would come in your life and love you down and it didn't work. <laughs> some of y'all, you probably blocked him. <laughs> this person probably could have been trying to block you when you could have blocked them. They thought it was going to work and it didn't work. <laughs> we got 
got attachments happening, but they don't stay. So somebody been trying to use spirits and stuff like that. That was with somebody was trying to use you for money, a car, a home, a place, your looks, your whatever. Somebody was trying to use you, and it didn't work. What goes under the moon exposes itself in the sun. Yep. Somebody wants you to come over to their house and some of y'all don't want to because whoever this is, like some y'all some y'all keep hanging out with y'all doppelganger. I do not know why that though. Like somebody keeps hanging out with their doppelganger or somebody who likes to doppelgang people. So that may be annoying to you at the same time. Sorry. That may be annoying to you at this time. <laughs> My bad. Um Only love. My bad. Damn, it's going back. It's like Giving me the, the death star. Some of y'all, y'all hanging out with y'all doppelganger or you hanging out with somebody that likes to doppelgang people. So this could be somebody to where they came up with this grand scheme of thing. Ooh, I see why y'all going through it. Ooh. So some of y'all, y'all dealing with people that like to pretend that they are people twin flames just so they can get shit out of people. Oh, huh? Oh, okay. Right there, right there. Oh, okay. Now I was looking over my glasses. Anywho, we also got um, yeah. So, uh, damn, you need it. It's kind of like whoever this is. It's like um, yeah. Um, yeah, we're just gonna put it like that. Yeah, some of y'all y'all dealing with people who came up with this great idea or this is how they get their money. They go off and they tell people that, oh my God, we're supposed to be together, or they like scamming and finessing people, and that's how they get the shit that it is that they need. And some of y'all, this may not be the route that you want to go. So it may take you a little longer. If you've been older, this may take you a little longer. I do feel like that somebody may be learning at this point in time that was where the slowest state of win the race. It ain't no rush when you in your own lane that was where so everything ain't worth the hassle. So somebody may be learning it at this point in time. Yeah, because this is the expectation. So this could be with you in life. Like you could have had so many people thinking that they could depend on you while at the same time you were asking so much shit from life and all you did was draw people. So it's like you and your universal laws who? Me right now. I don't know. I'm saying I suck at this. No. Um, it's kind of like you may recognize that it's kind of like you and your universal laws or like the universal prism or something going on between you and whatever it is that you're asking for. It comes off like uh, to whom much is given, much is required, but it's coming off in the state of like I need, I need, I need to where like it could be too codependent upon God, substances, people, places, things, or ideas. That is also manifested in the state of your relationship. So this is where you gotta change shit up. Stop going to everybody for a reading and stop listening to everybody's advice. I don't know who needs to listen to this because some of y'all family members and people around you is toxic. Remember, family can classify as the state of your friends. Somebody going to have to recognize that, like, if you need help, ask. Somebody keeps pretending like they don't need help. They keep lying. I don't need help. I don't need help. I don't need help. I don't need help. It's like, okay, well, you just keep saying that. Does that make sense though as well? Um, so yeah, be mindful of that because some of y'all might be. So let me read y'all this one card and we can go. So y'all dealing with people that y'all out here pimping and pandering in these streets saying, I don't need no help. I don't need no help. Right? Y'all might be in that play of fire and right, he said nobody need nobody, but he said me and my dog. So again, he said he don't need nobody, but he need a couple of his compadres. So again, some of y'all may just ain't found y'all compadres and you may be hurt. This may be your spiritual team or people who are part of your pack or your soul tribe. Some of y'all ain't found it yet. So you just got to keep going because maybe you just run across people who ain't for you at this state of time. They just remember people who's on the energetic plane because there's certain things that they may be doing for money or cash or something like that. That was weird. Purification, come on, girl. We got a pure spirit, so that's why I said some of y'all going into this may be a lesson that somebody may be learning. Going into things, clarify your intentions when it comes down to certain things. Your energy field is being cleaned of, of being cleansed of all that is does not need it. That isn't what it doesn't need. It. My bad. That's me. Your energy field is being 
cleanse of all that that it doesn't need. Traditionally, pine branches have been used and cleansing ceremonies because ancient people revered their purity qualities. The essential oil of pine is an antibacterial and antiseptics as well, which is also useful for protecting people from harmful bacteria. This card appearance is a message to release whatever doesn't serve or support or empower you. Let go of anything that feels too dull and murky in your life. Cleanse your body and also your environment by doing cleaning, cleaning space clearing, and also clutter clearing. Ah, say that uh, all together. It's like a tongue twister. When your art field is cluttered and energy, you're in. When your art. When. Girl! When your auric field is cluttered and your energy is dingy, you can't see the world clearly and will have trouble hearing the messages from spirit. The time has come to lighten up, eat, eat, and live lightly. Before a shining, vibrant new cycle can begin, it is essential to let go of an old. <sighs> the brilliance that pours through you can then shine throughout your life and also help many people, but the first path has to be made clear. The spirit of the pines would say, Let go of the old, discarded and unused. Purify and cleanse and clutter, clear your home. Why is it like a tongue twister? What the fuck? Your body and your life. Release whatever you don't serve or support you. Take time for total purification. You will feel brighter and also be a clearer channel for a for the light. Basically, is everything that I said. Y'all cutting people off. I said that. Some of y'all cutting people off with this thing. Time for who love. I said that though because again, some of y'all ain't having fun with your magic. This is what people use like magic for. Chaos playfulness and magic like they like to cause a lot of disruption so it's like no magic can be fun when you creating when you easily to manifest and stuff like that though as well like uh, lightening up the load helping other people putting the energy back into your collective lighting candles for their ass not nothing harsh or something like not no specific person just over the collective when you're doing like little nice shit or something like that though you're sending out so you can get it back uh and being able to cleanse and some of y'all may be on the open up or y'all may be learning how to be a, a, a brew hot bitch or something like that though or a cleanser some of y'all that may be your thing where you may be taking up that type of technique so some of y'all probably had to fuck around and get sick so you can learn how to heal, heal yourself so you just like shamanistic because again on the path of shamanism you can't become no shamanism until you get sick and you got to heal your fucking self and it don't have to be something drastic but again that could be it did you know something in me so it's kind of like girl for the go, because this little girl, 